Dear members of Congress. Dear members of Congress. Dear members of Congress. Dear members of Congress. I'm mad. Flabbergasted. Furious. Concerned for my children. I'm worried for everyone. The majority of Americans, regardless of who they voted for, did not vote for racism, for sexism, or for xenophobia. And yet Donald Trump won. And since he won, hate crimes are rising. Women have been attacked in his name. People of color attacked in his name. You represent us in Congress. You are our last line of defense. So here's what we ask of our elected officials. No, here's what we demand. To the extent that Trump pursues racist, sexist, anti-immigrant, anti-worker, anti-Muslim, anti-Semitic, anti-environmental policies, we demand that you vigorously oppose him. We demand that you block nominees who threaten the rights of women, the LGBT community, people of color, immigrants, and the poor. And we want you to know that we are with you. As long as you do that stuff, we won't remain silent. We won't remain silent. We won't remain silent. We'll work harder to mobilize our votes and our communities, but we need you, and we expect you to have our backs. To protect our civil liberties and to use your congressional powers to obstruct. To obstruct. 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 Defeat. Anything. 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 Anything that violates our core values as diverse Americans. Signed, the majority. The majority. The majority. The majority. The majority. The majority of the American people.